Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. Just look at that landscape, it's completely changed. It's fascinating going back to a brand new save and seeing what it looks like. Don't know if you could say it's better or worse, definitely more productive, <laughs> uh, maybe not as good looking. But anyway, yes, today I'm going to be getting, hopefully, the Donut Factory. This is a mod available on Mod Hub. I'll put the link down below. Uh, it sounds absolutely fantastic. I love donuts. Um, so I think we actually do have all of the ingredients to make donuts. So this is potentially very good. Uh, let's just see. Factory is, which one is it going to be? The donut factory, only £20,000. So it doesn't even mean that we can't buy our field anymore. Hmm. It's like a perfect fit for it. But no, I would prefer to keep that open for chickens or something. Um, this over here is more of my donut area. So I think we should probably landscape this area here, and we can hopefully start to make some donuts. Yeah, it's much more uneven than it looks, so it's going to take a bit of leveling and softening, but I'll get there. That is looking pretty smooth. There is the odd bump, but that is a massive improvement over what it used to be. It's, it means it's much steeper going up here, but that's all right. Doesn't matter having a bank. It will uh, stop me from going off road. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we can now build the confectionery, the donut factory, construction, production, and there it is. Now, I know that we can have free mode enabled. I'm not going to use it. Which should we have? That's ah, Which one's more of a front? That's more of a back, actually. I don't know. I think that's probably more of a front. Check for anything floating. So it was £302 above the initial price. But that's pretty good. We can get all the way around the back. Plenty of space around the front to access the back of the tailor shop. And uh, yeah, I bet the people who work at the tailor shop are going to be uh, very eager to go to this place at lunchtime. <laughs> Not very healthy, but yeah, nice bit of uh, a donut. A good thing to have as a snack as well. Not trying to promote donut eating here, by the way. So now we can hopefully see it on our production page. Yep, there it is. We need flour, sugar, and eggs, all of which we have plenty of. Uh, we'll have to change the output mode for the sugar, I think, so that we can actually get some stored so I can pick it up and bring it over here. The flour is just everywhere, I think. I think I've got it all piled up. And eggs, there should be quite a few eggs. If not, though, there'll be plenty uh, by tomorrow. So let's go and get the ingredients. It's a good job for my pickup truck. And yes, we'll be moving back onto the grass work in a minute. So I think probably first stop is going to be the sugar factory. This is cane sugar. And I've just realized, yeah, for a food delivery truck, it's not very clean. I think I should probably clean it. it would be a good idea. Uh, but yeah, first things first, we will get the sugar as we're over here. The pressure washer is up at the top yard. So what I need to do is I need to change this to store briefly. Although we could probably have it on store for quite some time. And yeah, I've read everybody's comments about using a auto-loading trailer. Definitely something which I'm still considering. I don't know when to change though, that is the biggest problem. Um, I, I also don't mind using super strength. I think both are good. For a realistic series, I wouldn't use a auto-loading trailer. But then again, if I was being super realistic, I wouldn't be doing it like this, because these are far too heavy to pick up. This is 890 kilograms per pallet. So I'm just going to get, well, I don't know how much we need actually, but probably how much we put on 10-ish, about 10. 10 is is kind of weird though, just having the extra one on top, but that's fine. Uh, yes, I thought the eggs might be a little bit thin on the ground, but there'll be plenty of them tomorrow. So we're just going to get the uh, flour, then we'll rest. We need to rest anyway, and then we can transfer all the eggs that we've produced overnight to the donut factory. Ok, 
clean get nice and shiny okay that's good I'm hoping the grass won't regrow too much because we do still need to ted it and everything we're making hay bales I don't think it will do it will regrow a bit but it shouldn't be excessive because I do really want to get the donuts underway. Don't really want to leave off and then come back to them. When we come back we want to have okay I just want to eat some donuts. I'll admit it. <laughs> some virtual donuts. I'm just gonna fill the rest of this with flour. Well since the sugar got a bonus one the flour can have a bonus one too. Then there won't be a fight brewing on the back of the trailer. Well, there was still a fight because it turns out there was a thousand litres less flour than sugar. But it's fine, we have loads. Hmm, <laughs> still a bit bouncy. Okay, so it should take whatever it wants. Let's just see what it wants. Possibly all of it. Mm hmm, looking likely. Uh, maybe, possibly. Yes, I think so. <laughs> So that's going to be a good start. It must have a huge capacity then. Is that close to full? Hmm, not really. But definitely enough to get us going once we have some eggs. So yeah, I'm going to get back to the farm, we're going to rest, and then we can pick up the eggs that we have and then at least start the production. And then I'm going to continue doing the tedding with the, uh, well, probably the McCormick. And we can make some bales. I'll just park this up here. Okay. Go to 9am. Oh, look at that. The sorghum looks great. And that is 100% fertilised, so that's, that's good. The corn is looking fantastic as well. As I was saying, just really hoping the grass isn't too long over in the grass field. Looks like we actually have a field ready. Wow. Oh, it's so much better having seasonal growth switched on. Yep, the oats look to be ready. So, how many eggs do we have? Enough. Enough for now. We'll take everything that we have here and everything that we have over at the other chicken coop. can check the grass field on the way past. Yeah, that's fine. It's growing a bit, but that was obviously going to happen. Fast growing period in the middle of summer. And it looks like we have exactly the same amount of eggs here. Perfect. So, yeah, I'm not saying this is going to last for ages, but it's going to last long enough because we're always producing the eggs. And we're probably going to be getting a big, big chicken coop fairly soon. Plus, we're going to be getting another field. Still can't really confirm which field it's going to be. There are several good ones, but what I have been told is whichever field it is that I buy, I need to be very careful. I need to make sure that it's actually got a growing crop in it because they can apparently still say that they have a certain crop type in it, but it could have just been harvested not necessarily a crop which we're going to benefit from. Oh, look at that, we've got another pallet of clothes. That'd be another £30,000 worth when the price is right. So that's enough to at least start the production. Activate. And I think, I'm pretty sure with this, we have to actually purchase the sell point for the donuts. But it's not expensive. I'll just have to try and locate it. There it is, £5,000. So it could probably be on the same site somewhere. We don't really need to be concerned about that today, though. So that is us done with the donuts for this episode. They can now be made. The first batch. Mmm, lovely. Okay, so yeah, we need to get that tether on the back of the McCormick. Get this uh, grass field done. Then we need to... 
Windrows, obviously. And then we can bail it. But that nice new mower that we have uh, is going to be great for when we do silage because it's going to put it in a swath for us. Just part it. Oh, also, I've been told that apparently a number of my hay bales have been knocked through into the shed because I said, oh, we've only got one left. But no, apparently not. I know I did knock them through. Oh, look at this. Let's just retrieve. In fact, no, let's not retrieve these. Let's go and... Well, we will retrieve them, but we won't put them back. We'll put them here. Put one here. Put the other one just over here. Okay, good. I'm trying to knock them through again. That's all off. Perfect. Into the McCormick. Let's get tedding. So once we harvest the corn, that is going to be used in our cereal factory. We can finally start the cereal production. <laughs> it's been a long time. I was in fact supposed to be doing the cereal as my first production. It's ended up being beyond the last, because even a mod has come before it, <laughs> doing the donuts. But I didn't actually realise there were quite so many mod productions already. They look good. I, I don't know if we should do more. Should we do more? Should we just keep doing a load of productions? Uh, it's a bit of a challenge to keep on top of it all. But it's good fun. Anyway, let's get this done. Windrowing is almost done. Yeah, so the telling and the windrowing are pretty fast jobs these days. We've got very big pieces of equipment. And although it's not the ideal tractor for running this, it can run it. The McCormick can run the massive windrower. Again, link is down below, it's from ModHub. But about our next tractor, I've been reading everybody's suggestions. Obviously, there was pretty much every brand mentioned, but the top three which I saw uh, definitely Valtra, that was one of them. Fent, that was another one, and I think, because we've already got things like Massey Ferguson, John Deere, they didn't really crop up too much, I believe, what was it, JCB I think, pretty sure it was JCB, so um, yeah I think the Valtra and the Fent popped up the most, but I'll probably just do a vote at some point between those three, it won't be a model specific vote, just a brand vote. But it'd be good. I'd be very happy with any of those tractors. Okay, so there we go. Nice big swaths. Relatively neat. As you can see, I've brought the baler across. We're going to put it on the back of the Massey Ferguson tractor. But first, let's go and put this away. <laughs> it's bouncing. Bouncing over all the swaths. We still have our cake and our bread in here. Rotting. I mean, storing going to sell them when the price is right. They do look good though. Very tempted to eat one. Um, right, so into this tractor. I really should put these away. I think I'll probably put them in the top yard. The mower actually steers. You can really reverse that into some really tight places. Okay, now for the baler. And we 
do I think do we still have the auto stacker on this series? I thought we did. Yes, it's got bells on it. We'll probably keep those bells. Set to 240, that's the biggest. That's great. I think in the past I've got 19 bales from this field. I think it was 19. Uh, that's the issue with it being such a wide swath. I've got to be very careful. <laughs> it's an absolutely massive swath. Uh, it's even uh, hitting the underside of the tractor. See if we. Oh no, it's the round bells, wasn't it? The round bells produce 19. I don't think we're going to get 19 from this, but it's still going to be pretty good. It's just nice to have hay bells again. Maybe, after all, there is actually 19 bales. It did seem slow initially, but no, we've got loads. Probably not enough, though, to get a final bale, although when we empty the baler, that'll add a couple more. Close. But not close enough. Okay. So, we've got 90% left in the baler for next time. Let's see how many we've actually produced today. 16. Very happy with that. That's perfect. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll take the baler off. I'll get the auto stacker attached. I'm going to put those bales on the auto stacker, which, which are on the auto stacker, in the barn. And, um, yeah, we can use them in the future. Because th that's the thing. The cows require so much straw. And we need the straw for padding out the uh, feed mixture as well. The sheep seem to be doing okay. I, I do keep giving them a bit of food, as you saw. Oh yeah, and the round bale, which was in the top yard, I gave them that too. Can we squeeze this into here? Hopefully. It's getting a bit congested. Hopefully we can get this out of here. We've got 12 bales on here. And yes, all of the future bales can probably be sold, because we've got all the straw bales to come off the oat field. And I know that, yeah, whenever I do this, I always tend to get the auto stacker stuck. So I might just go further out here, just put them in front. That should be okay. Mm, still trying to get stuck. Um, yeah, that's fine. It's just a bit weird having the highest bells at the front and the lowest bells at the back, but anyway, we'll use them all soon. Same with the hair bells, we'll just leave them in the uh, in the shed in the usual place. I'll probably move those two bells that I put in there earlier. It would be ideal to have the highest stack at the back. Got a vertical bale over there. Not quite enough space, almost. We've got space of 14, 16 in total. So we'll just have to come back for those final two. And this new yard layout makes it much easier to get around. Can actually do a full loop. Well, I suppose we could do a full loop before, but I had to sort of squeeze in between things, which wasn't ideal. Okay, so those two bells which are in there, we can just, I don't know, put them to one side. 
we can uh, get them out with the telehandler later. They don't have to be close to the straw bales. In fact, the more in the middle we are, the better. That should be fine. Uh, can we do it without hitting the roof? We can. So I think probably tomorrow we'll stay in July, we'll harvest the oats, we, uh, we'll just do the usual thing, harvest, bale, sort everything out there. The oats are for the factory, so we'll probably deliver some more to the factory, the cereal factory just there. Um, it's actually unfortunate that the corn isn't ready first, but it wouldn't be. Corn is always a bit later. But we can keep on top of that, we're also going to have to do another feed mixture for these cows. And I wouldn't have thought we're anywhere near getting the first batch of donuts, but it would be quite tempting just to take a look. Just really to see what kind of crates they come in, what kind of box. Okay, right, so that is that whole field done. It's very good, it's really stocked us up with hay after running quite low. Not quite as low as I was thinking though. I think we're parched over here because I'm going to need this very soon. There we go. And yeah, should be able to teleport to it. Oh, wow. Actually, yes, I, I remember these from ModHub. There was a, a picture on ModHub. So it looks like they are produced fairly quickly. Mmm. Very good. Well, we will. Well, do we actually get shown the price or do we actually have to have the sell point first? Oh no, there it is. Oh, we need the sell point first. Uh, well, we'll find out in a future episode when we have more. But that is it for today. Definitely something different though, having the uh, donut factory. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.